Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love reading for you for the week of May 3rd through May 9th. And we're going to be looking at the energies playing out for you and your partner. Please keep in mind this is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Please make sure uh, that you take what you like and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Be sure to go check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs to make sure you're getting all of the messages that pertain to you. I do have a playlist as well, so go check out all of the videos that I have. I do weekly and monthly videos. Also, um, I recently just did a monthly financial abundance uh, reading, so if you're interested in that, please go check that out. Um, I do find that um, finances and love go hand in hand. So there could be some messages there for you, okay? Let's jump right in. We're going to be looking at thoughts, feelings, and behaviors on each part, you and your partner. Uh, we're going to take a look at the current situation and future developments. Okay. I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, and enjoying the weather. I am trying to change up my environment just a little bit to uh, help with the heat because it does get kind of hot in this room where I'm reading. So we'll see how that goes in the days to come because I know it's going to get pretty hot. I'm more of, the, of a cold weather type of a person so I'm going to forge through the summer. <laughs> okay. We have all of the cards on the table. Let's get started. In the thoughts for you and your partner, your partner is showing up as the seven of wands in reverse. So they have their guard down. I do feel that they are thinking that they, um, they don't have to feel defensive for anything. Um, so they are showing up with, um, you know, their guard down and they're possibly thinking that, um, you know, it's everything's good, right? Everything's all good. Um, because usually the seven of wands in the upright talks about being defensive. And obviously that's not the case here with your partner. Um, so I do also want to mention uh, before I go any further, if you're single, this message is not going to resonate at all. So I would not continue to watch this video, okay? This is for this is for couples. This is for people that are in twin flame soulmate connections or love connections in general, okay? So if you're single, this is not a reading for you. I just had to throw that out there because I forgot to mention that. So again here with your partner Scorpio, they have their guard down, okay? Um, you have the death card in your thoughts here. So there's a transition that you're thinking about, possibly um, something that you have uh, decided to move um, out of and into something new. Okay, it could be um, anything really, but your thoughts are really with uh, that transition. Okay, we'll clarify what this transition is, but um, that is where your thoughts are. Now it could be transitioning out of this relationship and into something new. Put it how it resonates, but you know, stay for the remainder of the reading, okay, because a lot of messages come out during clarification. I'm just going over these uh, messages uh, vaguely, but the clarification is when you will find out exactly what each card is talking about, okay? Now, the energy between you and your partner is the Three of Swords. There's some heartache here. There could have been something that happened between you two that caused some heartache. Um, and it could be why maybe this transition is here in your position of what you're thinking. Okay. Again, we'll clarify. And your and your partner's feelings here. We have the five of cups, and this can talk about old wounds. This can talk about feeling disappointed in you know your partner. So your partner is feeling either disappointed in you or in themselves or in this union. Okay. There's some old wounds that are still um, playing a part in how they are maneuvering within this union. You are feeling the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to something. There is some scarcity mindset here with you, Scorpio. So um, this could be money. This could be the connection itself. 
uh, we will clarify but I do feel that you're holding on to something here okay and that's what you're feeling you're really not filling with your heart um, you're thinking about tangible things okay and you're you're really thinking and feeling about um, how you're going to maneuver um, either financially or physically in some way okay the um, behavior in your partner is the five of wands they're feeling conflicted they're feeling um, that there is something here that needs to be worked on there could have been uh, some conflict between you and them um, and but they are definitely showing up here as um, you know maybe with the seven of wands here of their guard being down maybe they're done maybe they're ready for change I do see two fives here and fives do signify change um, so in their behavior, they are definitely sh coming across to you as conflicted, okay? You are coming across to them as the Ace of Swords in reverse. You do not want a new beginning or you don't have clarity on something. There is no breakthrough, um, you know, and it could be due to this um, need for transition either out of this relationship or um, some kind of transition that's taking place with you, Libra. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm not sure why I called you Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. Uh, Scorpio, so this is this death card here. This is your energy, okay? So um, there is a transition, Scorpio, that you are making. Um, but there is something here with the Ace of Swords that is creating a delay on clarity due to or uh, about this transition and then in the future developments we have the page of Pentacles so a new beginning a fresh start um, the card here says concrete ideas so there might be some concrete solution here let's go ahead and get into the clarification okay uh, spirit what is the seven of wands in reverse for Scorpio's partner please clarify the nine of wands and the two of pentacles yeah okay so uh, I'm gonna get one more because the two of pentacles is signifying a decision so okay two more We've got the nine of wands the two of pentacles the hermit and temperance so I feel here that your partner has been through something um, that has put a lot of strain on them uh, with the nine of wands it's really talking about wounded warrior and we have old wounds with the five of cups here somebody is very wounded here somebody is very conflicted here okay there's a decision that needs to be made this person maybe has gone um, internal maybe has retreated um, in order to look at the situation from a different perspective. The Hermit talks about doing inner searching, an, int, uh, an inner um, reflection, okay? Reserving time for him or herself to reflect on the situation. And um, they're definitely trying to restore themselves in order to move into either a new direction or, you know, figure out how to maneuver towards you. So let's go ahead and see what your thoughts are with this death card. The Nine of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. And Judgment. So with the Nine of Pentacles, Scorpio, I do feel here that you are either feeling alone or independent. So, you know, put it how it resonates for you. Alone and independent can be the same thing, but can mean different things, okay? You can be alone and not be happy, but you can also be alone slash independent and be fine and be happy, okay? So put it how it resonates, but you're transitioning into this mode. Um, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about transitioning into this either singlehood Nine of Pentacles can talk about being single, being independent, okay? Um, due to maybe some deception. We have the Seven of Swords here. Um, and this deception may have brought on um, some karma 
um, either on you or your partner. Okay, judgment card. The, the judgment card talks about an awakening and this the truth that maybe has emerged from whatever this deception was. Okay, this judgment card also talks about um, lessons. Okay, painful lessons that needed to be experienced in order for change to come through. So you're thinking about possibly what happened. There may have been deception on your part, on their part, okay? Because I, I do see the Three of Swords here. There has been some heartache. Somebody was hurt here. Maybe both of you. But there is some karmic lessons that had to be learned, and you're thinking about possibly your independence. Um, your partner is thinking about the pain that caused them to, uh, you know, get wounded from this situation. They're having to make a decision as to how they're going to move into this uh, or either into a reconciliation or out of this relationship entirely due to this heartache. Okay, let's see what your uh, feelings here are. Uh, your partner is feeling the Five of Cups. There's, you know, still really wounded. I do have the Queen of Cups here. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio individual. We have the Star card. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel that your partner is does have a lot of love for you, Scorpio. With the Queen of Cups here, there is lots of love. Uh, maybe he or she has nurtured this relationship in the past. Um, now we have the Star card here. This is a card of Aquarius, trusting and moving forward, right? Clarification and expressed desire so they may have been very open about how they feel about you they have been I do see that they have possibly been um, you know trying to uh, get back to a very loving um, relationship here on their end because I do feel with the star the star card here they do want to move forward okay the, that's what the star card talks about is moving forward um, being on course and the wheel of fortune here is here to say that that you know they would like to see positive changes and an opportunity to move into a new direction with you so there's a lot of positivity here even though they have been very wounded from whatever occurred here with the three of swords they do love you very much and i do see that very clearly so with the four of pentacles we have the fool this is your feelings okay you may want to be um you may be feeling right now that you want to uh, move into a new direction. Uh, the full card talks about, um, you know, taking a leap of faith, but you could also want to take a leap of faith with this individual as well. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. You do feel blocked and you do feel that there is a lack of possible um, physical connection between the two of you, okay? Um, you do want to take a leap of faith, try to get past, because I do see, so you have, you have the Five of Pentacles and your partner has the Five of Cups. And so I think they're kind of trying to deal and manage their emotions. And I believe you're trying to manage um, how you are physically, mani um, how you are physically maneuvering um, with your partner. Okay. Um, you feel blocked here. I do feel that you are um, feeling that there might be a stalemate and you're really undecided as to how you want to move in, uh, you know, in this relationship. The transition, the death card is saying that there is something ending, but this is in your thoughts. So you might be thinking of ending this relationship. Um, and then you might be, um, undecided as to how or when this might happen. Um, and you may be wanting to take a new direction or a new path due to this um, lack of physical connection okay so in your partner's behavior they are um, feeling they are acting conflicted their behavior is showing you that they are definitely conflicted and it's coming out very clearly to you and to others as well okay so we have the hanged man and we have the king of swords okay so their behavior is getting gaining a new perspective and possibly um, having a lot of um, communication with you. They might be talking to you about this. They might be having um, 
they might you might be having arguments with this person and, and the behavior is coming across as they really need to speak they really need to talk they really need to gain a perspective as to what's going on with you and what's going on with them they may be feeling very emotional at this time and expressing that emotion through communication with you um, and I, I really feel here that your partner is uh, conflicted and, and trying to find a way to reconcile with you or find a way forward with you, okay? Again, they have the star card, so they want to move forward and they feel that they're on course with you. Okay, the third five out on the table is clarifying your behavior. So, Scorpio, I do see that there could be some mind games here going or if it's not mind games, it's um, communication that isn't effective, okay? Communication that might not be effective. Um, because you're showing up here with the Ace of Swords in reverse, and then we come to this Five of Swords, um, this is saying that there is either mind games or the communication is not transparent on your side. You might not be you, you may not be, um, you're not being honest, I don't think, with your with your partner here. I think that there's something going on here with um, your transparency with them and you're not being honest with them because the Ace of Swords here is in reverse. There are two people in this card. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, it's a very vague, but the, the two, there's an eyeball there and an eyeball there. Okay, so there's two people looking at you know, looking out of the card, um, but there are two sides of things, okay? But with this Five of Swords, I'm seeing that there could be, I'm not gonna repeat it again, I'm gonna do it one more time and then that's it. There is something wrong with the communication, okay? Something, I don't know if this is projection, if it's um, word salads, if it's um, gaslighting, I don't know, but there is something that's not right here with this communication. We have the Queen of Swords here. This is someone who can be very, very cruel with their words. Sometimes, if it's not cruel, it can just be someone who just cuts you at the knees. And I, this is on your side. This is your behavior, Scorpio. Okay. A side note here, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel here that you could be um, moving in a new direction. Um, with your with your finances maybe you're moving in a new direction and work that's a side note okay um, however I do feel here that um, you have to decide if you need to if you want to invest in this relationship um, I do feel you're you're conflicted um, you're you're not sure you're feeling that there's a stalemate here for whatever reason that is okay I do see like I said the three of swords here is showing up Okay, this talks about heartache. Why don't we go ahead and clarify what this Three of Swords is? That way we can figure out here what's going on. So we have the Seven of Cups. Somebody may have had more than one option. Okay, we have the Three of Wands, the King of Cups, and Temperance. Okay, I do see a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here very clearly. You could be dealing with that energy. Um, Somebody may have had um, possible options here and maybe chose a different option or moved towards and um, maybe, you know, possibly approached another person. There could be, I don't see three part, uh, third party here, but I do see that there is temptation here. Okay. Um, There could be someone here waiting for someone else to m become available. Again, you know, um, there could be that, look, there's the Ten of Cups here that just, I didn't notice that. So I do feel here that between you and your partner, there is some content and joy with each other in some way or another. But I also feel that there is also temptation as well. Maybe temptation in the past that created problems between you two. Um, somebody may have moved towards somebody else um, in this relationship. Um, it could be that there is also, you know, just some possible, 
you know, things that happened. I don't know in the past. I, I'm not looking into your past, but um, I do very clearly see here that there is um, someone. I, I feel there's a lot of love here. Um, I do see that there is someone here that um, has been hurt a lot. I do feel that's your partner. Um, he, he or she um, is really making a decision as to how to move into this Ten of Cups. Um, it is a possibility that you two can work things out to bring in the balance that you need um, to get past this Three of Swords. Let's see what this Page of Pentacles is because this is a brand new fresh start. It could be possibly uh, focused on, you know, this physical connection that's that you're feeling might be, there might be a lack in this physical connection between you two. And if this new beginning with this Page of Pentacles can spark something new, then maybe there is, um, you know, a possibility here that things could uh, work out. Okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. One more spirit, please. One more card for Scorpio and their partner. Thank you. Okay. So what Spirit is saying is that um, there is a delay in the work in progress, right? Because this in the upright talks about work in progress. It actually says it on the card. It's in reverse. So that's the opposite of work in progress. So this new beginning possibly is not going to work out and there needs to be some communication, a very clear communication between the two of you to end whatever this is um, that is causing you two to come to a head, okay? I do have three fives on the table. Five of cups, five of pentacles, actually, I have all four fives out on the table. This is a huge deal, Scorpio. I'm showing you right now what, what I see. All fives are out on the table. This is change. We have the death card here in your thoughts, Scorpio. This is your energy. You are wanting change. You are thinking about change, moving out of something and into something new. Okay, so put that how it resonates for you. I do see here both of you, both of you um, are really wanting this change to occur. Um, I don't know if you all have discussed this already, um, but I do feel that it's going to be necessary with the Knight of Swords. This is quick communication, taking action very quickly on communicating about something. Okay, that needs to happen and it will happen this upcoming week. You and your partner will be discussing this. There could be a lot of karma that came along with what happened with this Three of Swords. Um, the Seven of Swords here is talking about the deceit. Could have been on your end. It could have been on theirs. Put it how it resonates. But someone here definitely um, needs to talk about it. I do feel your partner needs to have a clear conversation with you. And I do feel that you need to be clear and concise um, with how you feel about them as well um, so that there's no hidden agendas and there is no question as to where you are headed and where they are headed. Okay, so I'm going to get one more card. Um, this is going to be a love oracle here. Um, so far, if you liked the video, I appreciate your support. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, okay? Um, the last message here is embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Yes, and you will. Through each other and through communication and through transparency, you will. I'm being called to get one more message from this deck here. I'm sorry, I'm only channeling, so I need to get the message that wants to come out here, okay? Before I close the reading. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what Spirit has for you. Spirit, what is the message? Okay, thank you, Spirit. The message is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So 
that might be you and your partner taking some time. If you have children, send them to the babysitters, okay? If you, you know, are busy, find time to have a conversation, sit down over dinner, uh, you know, having a glass of wine or taking a walk. Have the conversation that needs to be had, okay? And just remember that, you know, through each other, you can find the missing pieces. And this 10 of cups can definitely be a possibility between you. This is contentment and joy. This is blissful uh, relations. This is, you know, something that is possibly fixable. Everything is fixable, right? It's only the matter as to who wants to put the work in and the effort in. So hopefully you uh, will want to do that. It's all up to you. So I'm going to leave that here. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support as usual. And um, have a great week. Until next time, namaste.